Hey guys, in this video I will teach you how to design Starship SpaceX Starship SN15 um, So on Google, um, I just searched a SpaceX um, dimension and I found this sketch here and I pretty much used this dimension to design my Starship so once again just on Google if you want to look at the dimensions just go ahead and type like space X dimensions and you'll find something like this here and I pretty much literally use these dimensions to design this part here um, and I'll walk you through how I did that so let me go ahead and get started so first I'll just look at my planes turn on my planes go to an ISO view real quick so um, keep in mind um, the units for these are in meters so in inches and millimeter it'll be way too small so it's the in, in the dimensions are are in meters here so first thing what I'll do is I'll try to create a the profile the body of this SpaceX, right? So how I do that, I'll go ahead and edit the sketch. So, and I'll do um, spacebar, normal to, and so it's a very simple sketch. So pretty much I have about 50 meters to the center point here. I know it's that's a little off. I think on the sketch, the 50 meters was to the point here, but I just go ahead and did that here. Um, these are just lines, and that's just a arc, right? It's just you can do the tangent arc or three point arc to make that sketch there. And this is a fully defined. So what I will do is um, I will. I revolve this sketch around this reference line so just um, be aware make sure to draw that reference line so you can revolve it around this line here um, so next step is so if you go to revolve edit feature and yep just pretty much we'll just revolve around that axis that reference line there all right so the next thing I'll do, I'm going to go ahead and hide the planes. The next thing what I do is I'll try to make this part hollow with a thickness, with a defined thickness for this part. And I just assumed a thickness here, so you will not find that on the sketch, but I'll show, show you what I did here. So if you were to go to shell, you can find this feature, go to feature, and you can the shell option is here so if i were to edit this guy so pretty much when you click on the shell feature just go ahead and click on that surface right there and you just defined a then the thickness of that that metal there so i just put 0.09 or i can just put like 0.002 or something like that Right, so it just gives me a really nice, a hollow structure here. So I am just assuming. So this is not perfect, guys. This is just to show you, you know, what can be done here. So the next option is to create um, these flaps here. So how I did that was on the center plane. Um, I think that was on the top plane. Yep, so I pretty much did a create a sketch on the top plane there. Add a sketch, go to normal to, and this sketch um, is just a coincident to the bottom edge here. And, and these dimensions were from that print. So if I were to look at my print here, so, um, so it's just this dimension right there. Pretty much, and this angle wasn't defined there, so I just put it, put an angle 30 degree, and the height was 1310. The height right there was about 1310. 
Um, and what I did was this sketch, once you're done with the sketch on one side, you can easily so, and easily mirror over the center reference line. So I do have a reference line here. Let me hide those planes again, and you can see the reference line. So pretty much to do that, just click on the mirror entities, click on your sketch like that, just click on your sketch, and go to mirror about, and just click on this guy, and it will mirror the sketch onto that side. So I'm not going to do that here. Um, exit out of there. So that flap is made. So I just put two flaps in here for now. I could probably put three. Um, but I think the new version of SN15, I think it only has uh, two flaps there. So this is what it looks like so far. Next is the flap on the upper side here. So similar concept, but um, let me show you the dimensions there. If you edit the sketch, um, go to normal to same thing. The angle wasn't there. I think even the 14, I just added there. So it's defined there. And all I did was just mirrored this sketch about this one. And with that center arc, all I did was I just clicked on like the convert entities, right? If you just click on this guy, and if you were to click on the is, um, and you can convert that line not offset entities, I'm sorry, uh, convert entities, click on this guy, click on the is, and just press OK, and you can see that line just picks up the curvature there. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. So yeah, just, um, once you're done with the sketch, just go ahead and mirror that over this line there, and just give it a... Th and when you do an extrude bus, just go ahead and give it a thickness of one millimeter. Um, and same thing with these guys, same thickness here as well. And do it, do the extrusion about mid plane, right? So here I do have um, solid bodies already. So all of the all of these are solid bodies. So I have one, two, three, four, five, five pieces. They're not merged because they're not right now. It's not merged to the body. But I'll show you how I could do that at least for this bottom two. What I did was, um, yep. So for this. Edit sketch. So what I did was, um, so if you if you look at it closely, this part is not merged to that body, and I want a nice. I don't want any open spaces underneath. So what I did was this, I clicked on that surface and I did a sketch, um, and I did that convert in it is. Let me show you how that's done one more time. So this boss hide this guy. So pretty much I just clicked on this surface. Yep, that surface there. And did a sketch and just um click on that surface again and just click on convert entities. You'll pick up all the edges from that face. It's pretty much a closed loop. Um, sketch right there so I didn't have to sit there and then make a new lines so this is a little easier I could easily go and do my own sketch click on the line and make these lines but I don't need to do that I could simply click on the face and just do convert entities and it'll just pick up those lines um, so that I'm gonna cancel out of there discard exit So that boss here, what I do is, so I'll do up to surface, right? So if you look at it closely, you'll, when you do this feature, once you have that sketch, do a extrude, and up here, just click on up to surface and click on this surface here, and just press OK. And so that way now, my that 
flans and that body they are merged together that's one piece and similar concept here as well um you could do the same thing up here as well but i just left it at a, a as a solid body for now yep that's the same feature on the other side there um Yep, so the next thing I do is, so what do I do is I split this body into two pieces so I can um, define the bottom of the space ship. So what I do was, the, I just do the split feature. So if you do get that, all you have to do is, um, so up here, Go to insert features and go to split feature, right? And all I did was, I didn't make any plane. All I did was just click on that surface and I did cut bodies. And whatever I'm trying to cut is this bottom piece right here. So just click on this guy and just one check and make sure this consume cut bodies is off and click OK, right? So it just splits my the bottom portion of that body there but I don't I already have that done I'm gonna go ahead and delete yep so next thing all I do is <clears throat> add fillets on these flans I'll show you what I did just added like simple fillet uh, there Yep, fill it on both sides like that. But when it's a like the multi bodies, you have to do it independently. You can't um, you can do radiuses on multi bodies with this radiuses. You have to make a new fillet for that by itself because it's not merged. If it's merged, then you can add fillet to all the flanges, but they are separate bodies. You cannot add this fillet up here. You'll have to create a new one there. So, same thing, I just added a little fillet on this guy and one more on this guy with the next fillet. Yep, yep, same thing there. And next one, I just added another fillet on the top. So let me go ahead and define. Um, like I just did a 0.25 fillet there on the this fillets i think i just did if you double click on it it's just one one meter fillet for all four of them so that's that and these other two fillets are for the bottom the same size there so if you just click on this guy double click you'll see it it's about 0.25 quarter 0.25 meter fillet there um so i mean here you have like a general shape of the starship. I know I haven't added way much details, but I was just trying to um, draw a basic overlook of the starship. And so I wasn't trying to get into more details with all the engines and anything. I was just trying to get the overall sh shape of the starship going here. And up here, so all these um, multi bodies, all you have to do is click on it and you can define a colors you want so for example this guy the bottom surface click on this guy and you can choose any colors you want doesn't have to be black so i mean i just put a black for heat sealed but you can change that if you like and so the next thing is i just added a couple sketches up here so I'll walk you through how I did that. So click, I go ahead and edit my sketch. So pretty much that sketch was done on the top plane, right? So if I were to rotate it, you can see the sketch is like down here on the plane and I'll have to use my split line to um, <clears throat> make that sketches on that surfaces. So I have done this um, on my uh, video 2 if you watch my SOLIDWORKS on how to design um, pencil video and the other one you'll see I have done the similar concept there so pretty much once you 
have these sketches down. So, I mean, I just put these random dimensions. You can pretty much make your own dimensions, right? It doesn't have to be exactly like that. And just play around with it. So, once you finish with your sketch, um, I'll go ahead and edit um, my feature here. So, pretty much that sketch and this face, just click on that face. And what it'll do is that sketch will be that sketch pretty much these right here those are the same sketch just you know portrayed on that surface there so i have the curvatures and everything there and all i did was click on these four surfaces and just define a color of appearances on the face right click on the face and just go ahead and you know give it a color you want but yep um so this is all i did for this portion but you can do a lot more with it you can start adding more engines all you have to do is you know start working on um like the this bottom surface i think it was my uh top not top my front plane yes really tiny here you can click on that and you can add more sketches and you can merge, you know, once you draw your engine, you can merge to the body or you can leave it like solid bodies. Um, but yeah, play around with it. Um, see how far you get. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to message me. And if you want me to do more details on this, I can do that as well. But yeah, this here wraps it up. And yep, yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you like it. Bye.